Greetings class. This is just a quick heads up on the changes in discussion assignment three. First, this discu discussion assignment is worth 50 points, not 25 points like the other assignments. So this is also the last discussion assignment. Next, um, I've changed the due dates for the discussion assignments. Instead of having one assign one date at the end, the uh, first questions must be answered by Friday, April 1st, and then the others are due either on Tuesdays or Fridays of the following weeks. And then you also have a group report that's due Friday, May 6th. So first, um, I want you to read the introduction here. And then um, as you go along, uh, the student learning outcomes. And finally, the preview question, the article knock to the head, and the question that is below, that's due by April 1st, along with some other questions that are also due on April 1st. So here at the top of this page is the first question, which asks about your reaction to the article knock to the head. Then you have the central discussion um, that also includes then questions two and three later. Uh, so next, I would like you to read the scenario here. And at the end of this scenario are some questions that uh, you will answer as part of a group report. So here are the uh, questions that you will answer, and they continue on to page four. At the top of page four is the last question for the group report. And then next, I want you to watch and read the resources that are available. The videos are not very long, but it will probably take you an hour and a half to two hours to finish this, especially the time it takes to read through the NCAA website. There are also textbook chapters to keep in mind as you uh, do the reading and get ready to talk about this assignment. At the bottom of the page, then, there are uh, this is the beginning of the discussion questions. Pages four through six have the discussion questions that you'll be reading. Note that with those questions, there are different due dates for different parts of the questions. Um, there's a due date for individual responses, you can see here. And then for some uh, questions, there are also due dates for uh, responding to your teammates. And so those, again, are the minimum standards. Note that questions four and five are related, and that's why they're grouped together. Questions six and seven are also related, and that's why they are grouped together. Question eight is probably the most difficult question because here what you have to do, as you can see from the question, you have to analyze each of these torts and apply them to determine whether a coach or when a coach and, and or an organization would be held liable to injured players. So um, you really should take some time to go through, uh, qu especially question eight, and I do give you additional uh, time to respond. Questions nine and ten wrap up the discussion by focusing on preventive actions organizations and individuals can take to limit their liability. So question 10, though, focuses on the ethical aspect of that question. And the due date is on the previous page. Page 6 outlines the requirements for the group report. You should be working on uh, the format of the report as soon as you can. Um, here in this section, I've repeated those same questions that were at the end of the scenario. But note that the, the group report is due May 6th. And uh, on the next page, I'll talk about the differences in how you're doing the group report. First of all, 
you post the group report twice, once in the section where your group discusses, and then the other is uh, that same report to the class discussion forum because the class will read your group reports and respond to them. So although only one member of the group posts a report in your group, and then one member posts in the class discussion forum, and that can be the same person, but then every person in every group needs to respond to at least one other group's report. Also, um, I've included a requirement here that you um, have an ending for the group report, so just a last page or a last slide or um, something that indicates who did what on the report. And this is just a sample, but the idea is that everybody's going to show what they contributed to the report. Now, of course, if you haven't participated in the group discussion, you won't be able to get credit for it. So let me talk a little bit about the format of the group report. The group report has to be in one of these following formats. Those formats include like a Prezi if you want, narrated PowerPoint or narrated slideshow. I give you some resources for that. Um, a video as well. If you decide you want to do a different format, you do have the option of doing that. I just need to know by April 22nd so that um, I can make sure that, that that's appropriate. The format has to have both audio and video or images in it. But let me know if you want some different format. I'm perfectly open to that. You should think early on about how you want to collaborate with your group. Of course, you have the discussion board, and that's one way. But also, if you want, there's a tool called Zoom. It's pretty easy to use. You can download it to your phone, uh, or you can use it on, on your laptop or on your PC. It's a free video conferencing system. When you use the free version, there is a limit on how long you can talk. I think it's an hour. But, of course, you could take turns with people setting up the video conferencing, and then you could keep talking if that's what you want. You should really discuss this early, as soon as you read the assignment, so the group coordinates. And, again, if you don't participate in the group discussion, you can't get credit. So the last part of the assignment just talks about assessment. Be sure you read through carefully because you do want to get the most points possible. The discussion is worth 30 points, as you can see here. And on the next page, um, you will see that the group report is worth 20 points. So again, you really want to spend time talking with your group mates to respond to this um, new discussion assignment. So that's it. I just hope that this uh, kind of brief introduction, or maybe not so brief, introduction to the assignment will help you as you go along. And of course, you can always post questions in the class discussion forum. Okay, I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.